my name is Lindy Cowling and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. My email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And I very much hope that whichever way you chose either to celebrate or not celebrate the winter holiday season that uh, you are in a reasonably balanced peaceful state and that you guys are doing okay this hopefully if everything goes to plan will be uploaded either tonight which is New Year's Eve or the 1st of January 2016 I'm smiling at that because it's a long, very long story. I did in fact attempt to get three videos uploaded to YouTube just before the Christmas period began. Obviously it wasn't meant to be, it's a long story. So I've changed the way I film and changed some different things. And hopefully this one will get out. Uh, this isn't the video that I had previously recorded but um, I'm going, as anyone knows that watches me work, I work experientially. I talk on camera about things that either I'm experiencing or my clients are experiencing. Uh, so the space I was in three weeks ago or two weeks ago trying to record these, I'm in a very different space now and wanting to talk about different things. So on that note, uh, the title of this short video is the elemental element. So as you may or may not be aware there are different layers of energy and there are different interrelated dimensional beings if you like that are woven and interwoven together that can affect the present dimension we are in or the dimension they're in. So for example, if we talk about the elemental kingdom, what am I talking about? I'm talking about what in our mythology and in our storytelling in different cultures they would be called different names some cultures would call them little people some cultures would call them the vendicum some cultures would call them uh, fairies uh, elves this kind of thing um, it's the elemental kingdom it's that almost like fairy tale book magical kingdom existence of beings that vibrate to and from the energy of the heart through the elements of nature and the natural environment and the elemental energy is particularly strong at uncontaminated by man or or other people environments such as natural forests, natural woodland, natural meadows, natural water sources, natural environments that are uncontaminated. Uncontaminated environmentally, uncontaminated in energy, pollution, you know, all the ways that it can be contaminated. They thrive in in areas and in regions of the world and in pockets of the world where the energy is very conducive to their well-being and they work to enhance that dimensional energy. In days gone by, in, in history if you want, it was much more commonplace for elemental energy to thrive because there weren't man-made structures and concrete and plastic and everything in many of the environments that there are now. 
The reason I'm bringing this out, and as anyone who knows when they have watched any of the work that I've done before, the reason I'm talking about this now is, is the elemental energy is all about the heart. Totally about the heart. And they will not interrelate and interact with humanity per se without coming from and connecting from that space of the heart so the the human beings that they're react, interacting with are in the heart space it's it's not that they come and drop their frequency to meet us but we actually raise our game and and we we step forward to meet them because once we're in their heart, we have that transparency and they know um, immediately and they can feel that heart energy. And heart energy is something that they fully know and a word I could use is fully trust. It's, it's funny um, talking about this. You could have two people in the same magical space. I'll, I'll use a magical ancient woodland as an example with wildflowers. And depending on the dimensional space that the two human beings were occupying, one might immediately sense that feeling of euphoria, well-being, that magical feeling, that wonderful feeling, that reverence. For that space and they might immediately feel even if they couldn't discern what it was that elemental energy and yet another person with them who was occupying a different perception so a different reality because they were in a different mindset and perhaps not in so much in the heart space would perhaps appreciate yeah these woods look nice but they wouldn't feel the elemental energy or connect with the elemental energy of it what, it, what is happening now across humanity, as more people are coming into the heart space, elemental energy is making itself more visible than it has in times, uh, in previous generations. And the reason it's doing this, like I said, is because um, elemental energy connects very much with the heart, and that's how we connect with elementals. Uh, and so when more people are coming into the heart, they are naturally capturing this energy more on camera or they are sensing it more and certainly for me i don't i mean i'm finding it absolutely delightful in a way because i'm not having to make an effort to capture multi you know multicolored orbs on camera or often elemental pr pr produce uh, wonderful magical colored orbs Often they appear that way, uh, as well as other ways. Sometimes they can appear much more clearly than that. Actually, in the wood or the bark of a tree, you will see almost like a... Well, I was going to say a wizened face, but that's partially true. And some appear like that, but some don't appear like that at all, actually, surprisingly. Some actually almost have a sort of star being look about them. So there's a, there's a mixture of the ways that they seem to present themselves. Some are like transparent, some are like wizened, very long features. So there are vague humanoid similarities, but um, sometimes it's quite funny. You know, they can appear um, almost like, or if you capture them on camera, quite, quite surprising, almost like um, creature-like, animal-like, cat-like. Uh, in, a, in a variety of ways, I truly feel it's because we're, there's a multiple interrelating of dimensions going on and there's an interplay between elemental energy, there's an interplay uh, between other, I want to say intra-dimensional energy, not an expression I've used before. But energy that expresses almost like in between the, the dimensions and there's an overlap or weaving between all of it. The reason I'm bringing this out, like I say, is because it's becoming more commonplace to interact with this energy. But it's also becoming more commonplace to sense it, but also to capture this energy on camera 
in a variety of ways and how you how you do that really it really depends on the space that you're occupying like I say you could get two or three people in the same space and you're all going to have a different perception on it it's the people that are coming from that purity of the heart that love that openness that joyfulness that childlike almost like joy and celebration in elemental energy that are capturing it on camera and how you do this is just quite you don't go looking for it even you just draw naturally to places that are very beautiful and very raw in nature trees particularly as particularly if trees are on energy lines i might bring another video out on energy lines there's a lot I've got to say on that and what's happening in the world at the moment and how they have changed and the energy lines have actually moved um, they've actually moved uh, across the earth and definitely moved in the United Kingdom and are going to move again um, you know so you can capture by the ocean by running streams rivers woods natural environments meadows mountains as natural as, as an environment as possible you know around the rocks uncontaminated in all senses of the word and like I say they they appear in a variety of ways and there isn't really I can tell you you know that I, I have captured on camera recently and this has been a very very recent thing for me I've loved elemental energy as long as I can remember but truly truly there's been a stepping forward, I think, of myself and them towards myself in really in the last six months of last year. And I'm very, very drawn creatively uh, to photography at the moment and to, to film, hugely to film and photography. And they are very, I don't ask for them to come forward. They seem to be very ready to come forward and, and show themselves. And I think that that is a, the trust between the, the person, for example, myself and, and, and them, but also because they are willing at that time to do this. And you could say, are they stepping forward to help humanity? Yes, there is an element of that, literally, um, excuse the pun. But also, it's because they're also helping themselves because they're not, we are, we are so arrogant as a species to think that everything centers around us as humanity and everyone's here to save humanity. Uh, this planet will go on long after we're gone, you know, whether we messed it up or didn't mess it up, they would, this planet will go on without us. We're like um, ants compared to the planet, uh, the living being of this, this earth, for example. And the elemental energy is totally linked with the heart of this planet. And so they are looking to their own well-being because, of course, what happens in one dimension and the interplay in between dimensions affects all dimensions. So, for example, the damage we were doing in pollution or with energy, misuse of energy, doing away with natural environments, the rainforests, the woodland, the meadows, you know, polluting the oceans is going to have a massive effect on the elemental kingdom. And once you knock one element, again, excuse the pun, out of balance, you're knocking the whole, you're knocking the whole lot out of balance. Because if you think of the human vessel as a whole, if you think of the earth as a, as a vessel and the elemental kingdom being like the blood that runs through that vessel for example that would be an easy way of explaining it and you've got you've got an imbalance in the blood or contamination the blood's going to affect the whole system the whole body and if you think of us as maybe like like the bacteria that's a funny way of explaining it but bacteria within the human vessel as a whole for example I'm trying to not say that in a negative way but explain how very small we are in the bigger picture of everything and it's not always all about us um, you know that that's going to knock that out of balance everything has to be in balance we know that's from the human vehicle if one thing goes out of balance the whole lot starts to go out and then one thing knocks on to another so obviously you know the elemental energy has always been important but at this time very very willing to step forward because we're really stepping up to meet them they're not dropping down really to meet us we're stepping up to meet them 
and they are very happy to to be known really and to be spoken about and to collaborate co-collaborate you know with us when we are coming from that space and again it can't be faked you know if you're either coming from the heart you're coming from that genuine space and compassion or you're not and it is is a wonderful wonderful kind of energy to like i say to relate to it's very it's very it's very like um fast it's very light it's very mystical magical but it's also very playful there's also a seriousness about it because there you know there's a there's a direct purpose to it you know not just the stuff of fairy tales to do with the whole balance of the ecosystem of this planet and like I say for myself you know I've you know happily been posting up on Facebook pictures of elementals that have been showing themselves especially through trees which are a huge love of mine recently because I've moved to the coast they've been showing themselves um, actually morphing around the ocean always to places that I've been absolutely really excited to film or be drawn to take photographs just felt alive and then there they are it's interesting the ones that show themselves around the water and through the water because they are slightly different and they seem to always it's almost like they 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 come through the light the the light like the natural light or the sunlight the way the light is playing on the water they seem to come in that way it's almost like they it's a strange thing to say it's almost like they they make themselves visible that way or they they almost like drop in that way it's like their calling card it's it's really interesting it makes me smile because as any if you watch my work before you know i'm always referring to movies it makes me think of um a, a, a movie that really isn't elemental at all but it makes me think of that movie war of the worlds where they, they come down through the, the shafts of the lightning and they come down that way. I'm not meaning this in a negative way, but they seem to have an interplay with the light, whether they appear through the trees, whether it's in the grass, the flowers, um, the oceans, they seem to use that as a way of traveling or making themselves seen almost like a doorway. They're always there, but like a, an, an intradimensional doorway that they come in and out of so yeah beautiful energy to 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 be part of really um like i say it's always been there throughout mankind's history but i i don't feel that they're stepping down to us well i feel we're stepping up to meet them you know now through that heart again that heart portal so it's um you know if you was to say to me are you it's not a couple of times I've said on video here it's not just all about us the main reason really I feel that they are stepping forward because they know that we're going to be more aware of them anyway from the heart if you was to ask me if they were trying to get a message out then it's to do with the ecosystem of this planet at this time and we must take responsibility for our own well you know sounds quite blunt but our own shit really and what we're doing to this planet and what we're doing to each other certain factions of the planet and we must look to cleaning up our act actually in that sense because like you said i referred to earth gaia the elemental energy all of us as all part of that ecosystem if one goes down the lot goes down it reminds me of another movie avatar you know sea of souls everything's connected and once you take out the heart junk of something has a, a huge impact mankind humanity as a whole may have stepped the right way into the heart but there's it's leaving a lot of um, imbalance in its wake and that has to be readdressed and when i mentioned earlier about the energy lines starting to move um, the ley lines the energy lines starting to move the move to the left they're going to move again because if you think of Gaia like a big old Labrador dog, you know, about to shake and line things up and realign things and rebalance things, 
you know, many of the what we consider our ancient sites or where we we have literature that says ancient lines run through them now, that they're going to shift, it's all going to shift left. So those lines won't run through the same places. Anyway, on that note, um, I'll do another video about that. I will love you and leave you. Um, I wish you... I wish you a peaceful, loving start to 2016. Very, very different the year we're entering into in very, very different spaces to what we have been in 2015. So I, I wish you strength, courage, love, wisdom and just be who you truly are. Stay in your heart and enjoy the ride and on that note I will love you and leave you thank you so much for watching thank you for listening and I'll see you during 2016 thank you bye bye